healthcare as a field is a particularly fertile ground for application of AI methodology. It's been the last couple of decades, I would say, uh, with, with the High Tech Act and with electronic health records becoming the norm, that you've seen this data proliferation happen, so to say. AI has the capacity to use a lot of data, uh, process it very quickly, help us make decisions in rapid, automated kinds of ways. We're hearing a lot about how uh, artificial intelligence can be used to decrease clinicians' burden when it comes to things like documentation and billing and so on. Uh, but then there's also the patient care piece. Tools for prediction of disease onset tools for diagnostics to identify tumors or to identify fractures, personalized treatment plans to identify which treatment plans are more appropriate for which patient types. Healthcare is a place where the data it comes to fruition in so many ways. I have colleagues and friends that think about AI in contexts like content moderation or lethal autonomous weapon systems, otherwise known as killer robots, and they talk about AI and how it is going to break the world. I'm excited about it as a chance to fix what I see as a system with a huge number of problems. Yes, I share the excitement for all of the promise that it could bring to clinical care and also the administration of medicine. Um, I see sort of my job as a lawyer and ethicist to make sure that it doesn't compound disparities or make existing inaccess worse. Unfortunately, we live in a health system in which there's lots of bias in many of the things that we do. and artificial intelligence can learn that bias. We got to tackle this proactively and be aware of that at all stages through the process. So my questions are, how can law and policy ease that path? The other area I think to focus on is the area of liability. If I'm a doctor using an AI tool that was designed by a private company and the patient gets injured because of the use of that tool, whose fault is that? AI can sort of unfettered cause a lot of damage. And so um, hopefully the work that we do on, on this topic can prevent some of that. Human capacity for processing is limited. Having a machine look at the vast volume of data that exists, identify best practices, and essentially this augment human capacity and human decision making, if applied appropriately and not as a free-for-all without any guardrails, is a win-win for the patient.